Soccer Mom season. I want to share a pretty dark experience I feel like a lot of people is probably experiencing right now or it's coming in the future. It's called ego death. This right here is probably one of the scariest experiences I ever had to face. But I'm gonna share this experience with y'all so that way y'all don't have to experience it yourselves. Y'all can catch on to the red flags and I'm trying to tell y'all at the end of the day, my main goal is to protect your soul. So what is ego death? It's when you lose your soul, man. You're losing yourself. Maybe you made a realization that something may not be true. That you believed in it, but all along, it was totally different. Or maybe you suffered a really crazy-ass heartbreak that at the end of the day, you truly lose yourself. You lose sense of life, purpose. Everything that you just believed in goes right in the shitter. See, there was a point in time, around 2021, 2022, really. In my mind, 2021, that was my peak self, you feel me? At that time, I felt so good about myself. I was at my most confident, most positive mindset about myself, you name it. At the end of the day, I was aligned at that, at that time. But then I introduced the wrong people into my life. They started sucking my soul away. I messed with the wrong individual, man. And let's just say, they sucked me dry. It got to the point, man, I just felt betrayed. And when I made a real like a realization that I've been used, you know, I just lost myself. 2022, I didn't even post nothing on YouTube. There's a point in time that I, I just lost so much motivation for many things. Working out, everything. I just lost that self. You know, I lost the energy. And I started emotionally. So there was a point in time I was 182. I was at my fittest. You know, I was at my most fit self. I started emotionally. And I started gaining that weight back, man. Even though I wanted to be at my absolute strongest, I was really hiding how I truly feel. Sure, I had 600 pound deadlift, you know, 400 pound squat, all that, right? But I lost my sin, you know, myself, you know, I lost myself. Then I had to finally make that redemption, you know? I finally found purpose for myself and I found that energy back because at the end of the day, are you gonna sit here and stay depressed? Are you gonna sit here and just keep on going down this path of just self-destruction? You wanna keep on doing all this stuff and not face the reality? You're not gonna sit here and improve on yourself? See, this is, this is why I preach mindset on this channel and why you need to be careful of the individuals you do hang with. I really lost my soul at the time. I really lost my purpose, the drive to really better myself. But once I finally regained it and started to lose that weight, man, it feels so much better. You know, I finally starting to, you know, get out of it and really find my purpose, my drive. And this is why I urge everybody on this channel to do. Even though the physical might be everything we chase for, man, you really got to focus on the mental. Your soul is precious. And, you know, you keep on hanging with the wrong crowd and you going down this wrong path. It's only going to keep on leading you down to the same fucking agonizing pit. I don't want you to keep facing it. I don't want you to keep on battering yourself. You know what I'm saying? I love you. You got to love yourself. Focus on the right people in your right circle. Relationships, man, you better choose the right one for you. Stop lusting for these fucking 304s or these lame-ass Pookies and Ray Rays, dude. Your soul is the most precious thing there is. And you got to protect it at all costs. It's either you or them. It's either you or them. Why you keep putting yourself last and putting all these whack-ass motherfuckers first, man? Stop it. Back in the day, I was always that people's pleaser, you know what I'm saying? And I was sitting here, I don't want to lose them. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to upset them. But what they do for me, man, when I'm at my lowest, jack shit, that shit crazy, man. And it just keeps on losing. I'm, I'm starting to lose pieces of myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to lose it. But then that one person, man, really fucked it up, man. I, I fucked it up for everything. 
but now I'm a better version of myself right here, right now, way more wise. We gotta be cautious when you move around this thing we call life. That's why I preach mindset over everything. Once you keep on moving and navigating around this world, you gotta sit there and be cautious on what you gotta do and who you interact with. How to recover from this ego death is understand and really sit down and ask yourself who you who are you? And what the fuck is your purpose? What do you want out of this life? You only got one. Are you gonna sit here and keep on pouting or are you gonna do something about it? All those people, man, that that the past is the past. Stop sitting here and drowning on it, man. Move on. You gotta get stronger than that. And all those people you hang with, bro, you gotta X out. Who the fuck keep on wasting your time? Surround yourself with like-minded individuals, but grow yourself as an individual. Learn how to love yourself and know how to be alone. At the end of the day, man, you better with your own thoughts and what you need for yourself rather than trying to please all these other motherfuckers. You won't have to sit there and live by your own values and what you believe in. And that's where you keep your ego, your fucking soul intact. I don't mean being egotistical, narcissistic, but you really got to sit here and look deep in yourself and realize you, you on your own. You got to be comfortable in your skin to be able to help everybody else in need. Instead of, I'm sitting here in the shitter, but I got to sit here and make sure everybody else is good first. Focus on yourself and let those people come to you. I got to sit here and help y'all, man. Because there's a reason why we get motivated to work out. It's because there's a point in time we experience some trauma in our lives. That's what really got us motivated in the first place. It's our traumas. It's our mindset. It's just really low. But we got to sit and improve on our mindsets, though. Listen, keep on grinding and never give up. Once you set these goals, you have to keep on going. There is no fucking stopping. You have to be consistent. Do not stop. Protect your soul at all costs. For real.